Hi, this is a Pi Simple GUI tips video. I gen generally record these for my future self, but if you found your way to this video, welcome to the channel and I hope you find something useful. Today we're talking about demo programs and Pi Simple GUI themes. So one of the great things about uh, the documentation on Pi Simple GUI is they have several hundred demo programs to, that show how to different ways to use all of their elements. Uh, sometimes in different ways, sometimes in uh, together, sometimes just simple programs. But uh, there's hundreds of them, so you can get these in two ways. Uh, the one way is to go right to their GitHub page. Let's see. Not sure which one this is. Okay, I think it's this one. And you can see here's all the demos. Dot pi py demos. You can see I'm scrolling forever. There we go. And um, just about anything you can think of, you can find it there. Um, I'll link to that in the video as well. Um, another way that you can do it is um, by actually installing, they have a uh, PSG demos that you can, it's a, that you can pip install uh, when you pip install it. Of course you need uh, Pi Simple GUI as well, but if you pip install this, you get something that looks like this, and this is the same list of the demos, and you can run them. You can edit them. I haven't done anything else with these here, but uh, uh, that's what you can, some of the things you can do. Uh, like I say, you're going to pip install, and then you got to do some little bit of things like uh, to use the edit button here. You got to get the path to your editor program. And uh, that was a little hard for me to find, but I finally found out where that was. Um, so you'll have to figure that out where your program, whatever your editor you're using. So, But um, there's tons of uh, programs. And if you're just starting out, this one that says demo all elements is a pretty good one. And I'll run that. And it has a list of almost all the elements that you can have and uh, there's tabs and uh, everything else and multi-line stuff and everything and text boxes and everything you can want and even, even menus. So they got menus up here that you can, demos of the menus. So if you look in there and you want to get a start on using something you haven't used before, they'll show you how to get started with it. So, but almost everything you can think of, buttons and uh, columns and whatever you want to design is in there. So anyhow, that that's something that you don't get with a normal documentation of a program. So... I really enjoy that. Um, I just recently started using the pip installed version. I used to just go to the uh, GitHub and copy and paste the code into my window. But uh, the, this is easier, but I don't know. Both of them are really easy to use. So uh, I encourage you to look at the demo program, spend some time looking at the demo programs. So... Um, um also if you notice we're we're also talking about themes today so this is just that simple program that added two numbers or something and we'll run it and you can see that this is the basic gray that you know a lot of your windows are and everything like that um but uh, Pi Simple GUI makes another thing easier. You can uh, make 
Oh, backspace. They have one line of code and they have tons of different themes that they call it. And uh, usually it's a uh, uh, light green, dark green, and then maybe a number with it because they got so many of them. But uh, so we'll run this with the theme of that of light green six. And you can see that it's definitely different than the uh, uh, gray one that we had before. So, uh, and you say, well, okay, but I don't know what all those look like. Well, uh, Pi Simple GUI authors came through again. So, actually, you just import the library and they have this one line of code. It's called Theme Previewer. And um, you copy it like this. That's all you need. And you run that. And you can see what every single one of the themes that they have. And they have tons of them. They have tons of them. Some of them are rather ugly in my view, but everybody to each to their own. So, um, and like you said, they, they tell you what the name is here, light teal, light purple. I don't know where the purple is on that one, but, and uh, so all you got to do is where your theme is, like I did on that, demo program back there i just you just type that in it's usually camel or not camel case but capital first capital second word and then a number or something like that but if you copy that in there it'll um give you a theme and uh so we had that green one. Let's go with something. We'll call it Python Plus. We'll change that other one to Python Plus. And let's uh, go back to this code and see how easy it is to change one. Uh, I'm going to change this. Now it has to be a string, so you leave your quotes. Picked another one. And we're running it just that simple to change it. So, anyhow, that's my tip for today. Uh, more to come. Thanks.